Hi, my name is Les Hall, and I have a little invention to share with you. My friend, whose nickname is Ixmo Supermarine, and I together have come up with this little ring. And uh, we are, I, I have decided to uh, give it to the world as an invention. I'm not going to patent it and try to make a profit from it. It's open source, you might say. And the goal is to convert this two liter bottle into a water purifier most notably for use in the third world where uh, clean water is scarce let's take an example place like haiti and the island of haiti or the half island of haiti um, the people long ago uh, you know, cut down and burned up all the vegetation and the topsoil eroded away so things don't grow uh, and uh, uh, the waters are all fished out, the coral reefs are... Uh, as far as I know, it's pretty bleak there. They have to import their rice uh, so that they can have food. And water, I imagine, is probably scarce as well. So what can we do, given that we have... We're surrounded by salt water, and we have sunlight. Lots of sunlight. Well, what we can do is we can take, oh, excuse my computer noise, <laughs> uh, I've got to shut that beeping off. Uh, we can take a two-liter bottle, cut it into two pieces, a top part and a bottom part. And then what I have done is 3D printed this little ring. Now, the way this ring works, excuse me, is it has a little tray in it and the tray sits there and what we do is the bottom part has uh, well I guess I should reassemble it which takes a little doing let's get this just right let me see here uh, it does, this it's, it's, is a prototype and as such it requires a little finagling to get it to work right. However, with a little patience, I believe I've got it. There we go. The bottom half is the more difficult one. And the top half just slides right into its slot. Pretty straightforward. Like so. Okay, I've reassembled the unit. Uh, in a final one, this would be optimized out to work better, and it would be taller, so it would grip it better, and all sorts of things like that. This is only the very second prototype that I 3D printed. Uh, now, if we were to, and I haven't tested this yet, but I plan to. Oops, playing hide and seek on you. Peekaboo! Okay, got your attention? Welcome back! Uh, we put salt water, or uh, if we were in Africa in, a, in a, uh, a muddy river with the oxen upstream and all the unclean stuff, we put some of that muddy water as clean as we can make it and put it in here. Then we leave it out in the sun. And the sun will, it will cause some of that water to evaporate, come up to the top, and then drip down into the little reservoir very straightforward then what we do is when we're ready to harvest it we take the top off the bottom comes off easier than it goes on and here we have a small amount I don't know how much you could actually get we can make this reservoir any size but a, some amount of water that we can then pour into a container or actually just sip on it right there if it's clean enough you know and you you just survived another day because you had a piece of trash from from the first world and a little gizmo that somebody made now there are some caveats and gotchas the bottles these days are not really for reuse but you know what that can be changed um, also uh, something like this can be built in 
two uh, bottles by re reshaping the design of the bottle. That can be done very inexpensively. And then the, uh, the companies, the Coca-Cola company, the Pepsi company, and all the others can uh, boast kudos about in their advertising about how they're helping to save the world, which is really true. It's not just a concept. They're really helping to save the world by preventing people from dying of starvation and thirst. So, uh, I guess that's about it. We're five minutes into the video, and don't you, don't you have enough information? I mean, I tell you what, if a video runs, runs on and on, I just stop watching it. So, uh, click off. All right, this is Les Hall um, with a cute little invention that I'm giving to the world. Me and my buddy X Muller given to the world in hopes of making a, a better place. And, you know, the grand picture, if I might quickly say, is to end human suffering on planet Earth to the greatest extent possible. This is one piece of the puzzle. Hope you enjoyed that. And praise the Lord. Bless out.